Hello, in this video we're going to talk about equivalence relations and in particular we'd like to prove that the relation twiddle, which is defined by the following, it's defined by x, y twiddles uv if and only if x squared plus y squared equals u squared plus v squared um, and we want to prove that that's an equivalence relation so let's do this uh, recall that to prove something is an equivalence relation we need to show three things so the first thing we're going to need to show is that it's reflexive secondly we'll need to show that it's symmetric And third, we'll need to show that it's transitive. Now, what makes this problem a little bit more challenging, um, usually we have things of the form, you know, uh, for reflexive A twiddles A, or symmetric if A twiddles A, then if A twiddles B, then B twiddles A, things like that. What makes this problem a little bit more challenging is that our um, objects or our elements here are coming from the Cartesian plane. So this xy um, is actually an xy point in the Cartesian plane, in the xy plane. So it just looks a little bit more complicated, but it's really the same principles at work here. So let's start our proof. And the first thing we'll work on is uh, to show that it's reflexive. So to show that this is reflexive, we need to show that xy twiddles xy. We need to show that xy twiddles itself. So let's take a look. Well, xy is a point in the Cartesian plane and notice that x squared plus y squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. In other words, this shows that xy twiddles itself. and so our relation is reflexive. Now let's take a look at symmetric. To show that it's symmetric, we need to show that if xy twiddles uv, so if that's true, then uv twiddles xy. Okay, so let's do this. So we'll start off, assume, again we're going to assume everything between the if and the then, so we'll assume that xy twiddles uv. So this implies, well, this implies by definition of what this relation twiddle means, this implies that x squared plus y squared equals u squared plus v squared. But this is the same as saying that u squared plus v squared equals x squared plus y squared. So I just interchanged both of these expressions over the equal sign and the reason that we can do that is that the equal sign or the property of being equal is a symmetric um, relation. Having u squared plus v squared equals x squared plus y squared this shows that u v twiddles x y. And that's what we wanted to show. Okay, so lastly, let's take a look at transitive. So transitive goes like this. We need to show that if xy twiddles uv and uv twiddles, well now we'll need some new letters, let's try uh, W, Z, then X, Y twiddles W, Z. So that's what we need to show. Okay, so let's start off. Assume everything between the if and the then. So we'll assume our hypothesis which says that X, Y twiddles U, V and U, V 
twiddles WZ. So this all implies that x squared plus y squared equals u squared plus v squared. So that's what we get from this first relation. And secondly, u squared plus v squared equals w squared plus z squared. And again, by transitivity of equality, if we know that x squared plus y squared equals u squared plus v squared and u squared plus v squared equals w squared plus z squared, we can put this all together um, and conclude that x squared plus y squared equals w squared plus z squared. So therefore, xy twiddles w z. Since we've shown all three properties, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, this shows that we have an equivalence relation.